Yeah. Uh, March 22nd, 1968, I was down the block at the Fillmore East, yeah. and the doors were there. So this, this poem was inspired by that. Oh, yeah. It's called Before the End. We dined on low tables, miso soup, tofu, drank rice wine, spent a half week's pay, raced time across city streets, dodging scalpers and peddlers, hawking tickets and more. High in mezzanine seats at the Fillmore East, immersed in psychedelic glow in the mind-bending Joshua Light Show, never ending or it just seemed so. Latent lyrics rocked, deep blue dreams, love, labyrinth of fire, poetic words and rhymes. The end found us lost, unable to undraft the script written in Je ne sais pas land, Vietnam. I still don't understand why you had to go. And when the music was over, when butterflies no longer screamed, they turned out the lights, my love. Wow. I think uh, the crowd here will, will remember uh, this is something that from the New York Times, and it's about New York. Looking for Nina. I used to say I need this or that, Always need, never want. I had the need to justify thinking that want was selfish. Friends said it was okay to want. Now when they ask me, what do you want? I tell them, I want a Sunday kind of love. Lingering in bed, reading the New York Times, making love between sections, looking for answers to 36 down and across searching for Nina, hidden in Hirschfeld's satirical drawings, agreeing what film to see at the Waverly, afternoon walks through Washington Square Park, ordering shandy or a black and tan, Stilton cheese and soda crackers at the English pub, train rides home, sharing, that's what I want. Yeah. I stayed at the Hotel New Yorker for a trade show at the Javits, and this poem came out of it. A room at the New Yorker. In the recently renovated bathroom atop the satin finish, peach cream paint, a single brush stroke, a stark splash of white beginning at the baseboard, sweeping upward, ending with a splotched dot. The italicized eye stands out as I sit on the commode, wondering who put it there. <laughs> Was it an oops, wrong can of paint? A cell phone interruption, a lunch break, end of the work day. Did the painter leave to see his doctor or pick up his kids from school? Did he sit on the bed, flick the switch on the lamp, open the night table drawer, read a few passages from Gideon's Bible, flip through the guest book tabs? Did he walk to the window, watch people below, pigeons above, did he peek out the corner window, peer into the room next door, put an ear to the wall, wish it were he in the throes of passion? Did he draw the drapes, turn off the light, pop pills, his shrink prescribed when he complained that everything he does goes unnoticed? Uh -huh. <laughs>